Hello guys and welcome once more to another video here with your friend Fran from Fran Suero Photography. I am a full-time professional photographer for weddings and family pictures based in Orlando, Florida. And today I'm going to be talking about a new product that we received from our friends Andy Cine. And I got this package from Amazon. And the reason why I'm doing this video after a couple of weeks I received the product and I already used it several times is to help you decide if this product is correct for you or not. Let's take a look at whatever is inside the package, everything that is included, and the new option that is included in this new version. Let's take a look. Okay, I got the package here that I received from Amazon. I still got the packaging and everything. And as you see, it's a typical Andy Cine uh, packaging with a nice uh, white box all around. Now, this is the A6 Pro. I have the A6 Lite, the A6 Plus, and now this is the A6 Pro. And as I'm reading here on their website, the main difference of this one is that it also include the, uh, the Power 3D lot, but also include the attachment for the wireless uh, transceiver from Holy Land Mars. Basically, it is prepared already for you to adapt the uh, transmitter, the video transmitter from Holy Land Mars. So that's a game because you don't need to be adapting that, uh, that, uh, that uh, transmitter anywhere in the rig or it goes right directly on your monitor, making this basically a really good uh, situation where you're using a video transmitter that needs to transmit to longer distances, which is the case of the Holy Land Mars. So let's open the package and let's see what is inside. Okay guys, and now I have the box here. As you see, it's a typical Andy Cine box. Very well made, really good uh, white uh, boxing, really good quality. As you see, I already opened this. And uh, basically this is the second box that comes inside. Here you got the regular packaging initially. And uh, when we open this, as you see, I already break the seals on the side. I've been using it for a couple of weeks already. And when you open this, let me put this on the side, you got a couple of uh, uh, stuff in here, the warranty card, a cleaning cloth for the, for the monitor, and uh, basically all that you are expecting from the people around the city. And inside we have the nice case that we're accustomed now for their Andy Cine monitors. So let me put this aside here, very quick. And uh, this is nice. This is really, really nice. It's a little bit different than before. The quality is amazing. Everything is really good. It's a nice uh, welcome addition to the, to the monitor. Not every monitor gives you a nice case like this one. Mm. So the zipper is really good. It's YKK zipper. And uh, when you start opening, you feel the quality right away. It's really good. Now, now it's a little bit different. When you open this, you got the hook. I tried to put it like it came originally. And then you have this protector uh, part here, hanging here in the top. When you open the zipper, basically you got your cables inside a plastic. And this is the HDMI to mini HDMI cable with a couple of adapters. As you see, micro HDMI to HDMI. Then you have an adapter for USB-C. And you have this clamp. And I'm gonna show you what this clamp is about. Then inside you have the old trusty USB uh, battery charger here. Let me put this aside. It's basically you got the USB uh, cable going from here into the power. Inside you have the MPF style uh, battery, which they supply the MPF 330, the smaller one, which is really good. It, couples, it powers the monitor for about an hour. That is really nice. Let me put it right here on the side. You get this plastic out of the way. Then inside here, you have the arm that you use for you to plug or to connect or mount the monitor into the, uh, in the camera or the cage. You can mount it directly here uh, on the camera with the hot shoe adapter or cold shoe adapter. And this is the same one as they did with the, uh, a6 uh, Plus, not the A6 Lite. It's different, it's better quality. It holds a, the monitor really, really good. A good, nice uh, tool to have. And here we have another cable. We're gonna take a look, and this is the USC, USB uh, cable that goes into the power charger. Okay, and then this goes into a USB connector and you charge your battery. This is really nice. I already got three of these now because I got three of the monitors. Now, nothing else in here. 
everything goes in this part of the, of the thing. And in here, the first thing that you see is this rubber thing, rubbering thing, that allows you to get more stuff. Now, this is the, uh, the sunshade that goes into the, into the monitor. This allows you for you to put the Velcro around. And to get this out, you have to put a little bit of pressure. That's the case. Let me put on the side all this plastic. And it comes very well protected with this soft uh, plastic material covered in the monitor. And this is the monitor. This is the new monitor. This is the, the uh, 4K monitor. Really, really nice. Let me put in here. Everything on the top is basically the same as in the old one. Okay, you got options button, the menu, the on button is different. I'm gonna go through the differences with the, with the old one. The old uh, A6 Plus on the top, it has a wheel. This one doesn't have a wheel, it's just the on and on and the menu system. So it's a little bit different on the top. You got uh, F1, let me put it this way so you can see it correctly. Uh, you got F1, F2, back and forth to choose on the menu. Then you got up and down, the menu button, and the on switch. Uh, on the side, you got in and out HDMI, just like before here. At the bottom, you have the DC out. When you have the adapter that goes from the monitor to the camera, this is what you use to charge your camera. I don't have it because I'm using the A7 III, which the battery is amazing. And now you have a, uh, a DC in input here for uh, uh, with a USB-C. So you can charge this uh, with USB-C or you can even make it run through USB-C. You got a headphone jack, metal, three quarter inch uh, in here for you to connect it. Now, in this side, you also have a uh, connector, a quarter inch, uh, quarter 20 thread, and the top you got a 20 quarter thread adapter. But the main difference here, that, as you can see, is that there is no card, uh, SD card adapter. Basically, I guess that what they are doing is that you can put uh, that through software uh, coming directly through the uh, USB. I haven't tested yet. I love the part of my uh, uh, Plus version, the previous one. But the main thing is right here on the back. As you see, you have the regular MPF uh, adapter here in the back for the for the battery where the battery goes and let me put it right here so you can see how it goes and there you got it now with the with the battery so that's that's the main thing here and also this side is where you're gonna put your uh, Holy Land Mars uh, wireless transmitter so basically the transmitter is gonna be powered by the same battery that you put here and if you have a bigger battery you're gonna put it in here and it's gonna power both units together and also if you are powering your camera from here with the adapter cable you are powering the monitor the holy lands and mars uh, video transmitter and your camera using only one mpf uh, battery which is really really neat and really really sick it's really really nice you also have a dc in 12 volt here at the bottom and now you have a quarter inch adapter here at the back. So basically you can use this uh, to power, uh, I'm sorry, to hold your, your monitor. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. It's beautiful. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take this and compare it to the previous version so you can take a look at how it works. Now, I would like to show you how this works. It's still the same, uh, the same way as before uh, with, the, uh, with the touch screen information. Uh, you can uh, put your brightness up and down just with touch screen. You can make the button disappear and appear. Uh, if you are using touch screen with double click, you are getting the, um, the menu here on the side. Let me do it again. Appears. Let me turn it off here so you can have a look at when it start. Turn it on, press it for about three to five seconds, and you let it go. And the Cine A6 Pro, beautiful, comes in. I don't have nothing connected, so nothing is gonna come up. Double click, I'm sorry, here, double click on the screen, and you got the, the whole menu. 
and if you swipe from the bottom to top, you got the second option. And pretty much a very solid unit. Everything is really nice. So we're gonna compare this very quick now uh, to the previous version, the A6 Plus, and see what are the main difference. But let me put the hood first, so you see how it works. Very, very quick. This is the plastic hood that goes around, but to do that, you need to install this hood support system here. That's beautiful. It works a little bit better than before, even though it's kind of like the same, um, the same system or the same exact same thing, but it, it, it kind of clips a little bit uh, better. So you get your hood, you put it around, and now you got the hood on the monitor, which is really, really nice, very simple. Let's uh, put both of them side by side and see how they, uh, how they are different, okay? Let's take a look at that now. Okay guys, now I have the monitor here and I wanna compare it to the uh, previous version, which is the Andy C A7 Plus, not the Pro. Okay, and starting from the side, they are very similar here with all of the ports. Okay, we got the HDMI in and out. The uh, positioning is basically the same. The difference on the high comes from the SD card being on the on the plus and not on the pro. Okay, the profiles of the monitor they are basically the same. On the top, you got basically the same Quota 20 adapter. You got it on the side. You also have it on the other side and at the bottom of the monitor. Now there is a huge difference between these two monitors at the bottom. Okay, first thing first, there in the A7 Plus, which is the one here on top, we got this SD card adapter here where we used to put the SD card with the uh, LUTs in them. And that would, that's how you load the LUTs. Now we don't need it because now we have this USB-C connector, which is, helps us a lot to get, uh, a lot easier to get the, the LUTs in there. Once you load it, you have it inside it the monitor and also all of the other parts in the bottom they are also the same now on the top is a huge difference for both of these monitors and once you see why is why they call it pro now in the pro we don't have the wheel and it's not only for it be used with uh, the uh, touch screen here on the plus we got this wheel and this wheel is the one that activates everything let me uh, try to turn it on Okay, that's the A6 Plus. Let me get the SD out of the way. And when you press this button, it gives you that menu and you can rotate when you press this wheel. Uh, if you want to get the menu, the main menu, you, have, uh, you don't have other way but just to click uh, on the double click or double tap on the screen. Now, on the Pro, we don't have that wheel on the top. Basically, let me turn this on. There we go. A6 Pro. It goes in right away. And as soon as you press menu, you got all of the menu display on the screen. You can also double tap on the screen and they will disappear. But if you don't want to be using or touching your screen, or if you are in a, in a specific way that you just need to press the, the menu. It's really nice. You can also have the bottom layout for the screen when you double tap and then you come from the bottom. You also have the same options and that's why you have this button on the top here to go from side to side. Also in the back, they are completely different. Okay, now that we have the monitor side by side, we can see that the profiles, they are basically the same. It's the same monitor with a couple of different uh, additions to the Pro. This here is the plus. You see how the battery is. It goes Sony or Canon. Also, you don't have no mounting points in the back. On the Pro, you got the vertical uh, uh, battery mount and it can only comes either or Canon or Sony or other additions here, but only once. We are losing that, uh, that option to have dual battery system like in the Plus. But what that gives us is the option for us to have this lot in here 
to mount the Holy Land Mars video transmitter. And that is a really, really good addition because I'm getting one myself. So basically with this unit, I'm, able, I'm gonna be able to mount my uh, video transmitter here. And if I'm using a bigger uh, Sony MPF battery here, I'm gonna be able to charge the monitor, the transmitter, and also my camera with the kit adapter with one battery and with one unit, and that is beautiful. So those are the main difference of these two monitors. This was a quick open box, but now let's go to the last part of this video. Do I recommend this monitor? Okay guys, after we have seen all of this stuff that comes here and how it works and the idea behind how to put together the uh, video transmitter together with the monitor, Will I purchase this product again? Definitely. I don't have the Holy Land Mars yet, but I'm in the process of getting a couple of them because uh, my video business is growing. Every time we do a wedding, people are asking for video and we wanna do it all in house. So is this a good product? Definitely. The quality is the same as the A6, uh, A6 uh, Plus, which is the previous uh, version with that nice addition. So I would recommend this to you if you are planning to buy a, a, a transmitter, a, monitor, a video transmitter, specifically the Holy Land Mars transmitter. If you're not planning to use it, really stick with the A6 Plus because that's an excellent option. I love the product from Andesini, they are really good. I, they are my main monitors. I have replaced other brands for their monitors because it's good quality and amazing prices. And you can find it on Amazon really, really cheap. Sometimes with really good discount. So guys, my name is Franz Suero from Franz Suero Photography. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, see you later.